following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my little video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to like it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're following me on all the social media I have linked down below. That way, if there's a band, song, video, something you want me to check out, I'm very easy to find. I don't hide. So all my links are down below. If you are going to send me a DM, please no spamming. And if you are going to leave it in the comments below, join the I Concur Army and become a Concurpa. All you have to do is give the comments a cursory glance. If you see that your suggestion's been made or you see a suggestion that really creams your Twinkie, all you have to do is like that original comment and below reply with I Concur. That'll help my old burnout resin coated DJ brain get everything into a nice little organized list, and then I can put it in the handy dandy notebook. Also, twice a week, we have a gathering of the Concurpas. Wednesdays, 11 a.m., Saturdays, 2 p.m., we are live streaming for two hours of fun and frivolity, and another opportunity for you to get me your suggestions, ask me questions about my 30 plus years in rock radio, whatever's on your mind. Two hours, live streaming, hanging out, chatting with the most wonderful subscribers on the planet. Before we get started in today's video, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and, of course, Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming from Saturday's live stream. That's right. It was Saturday's live stream. Someone had asked me about the new Sabaton. I said I had not seen it. I had not done a video on it. Um, they had played here recently with Epica. Didn't hear anything bad about it and they said dude you got to check out sabaton's cover of motorheads 1916 so today's video we are checking out sabaton's tribute to lemmy and their cover of 1916 i believe it's about the battle of the somme um, one of the the most costly battles in british military um, so i'm looking forward to sabaton's take on it i think these guys are the masters of their niche so i'm super excited it's sabaton 1916 from their upcoming EP, Stories from the Western Front. Let's check it out. <laughs> Quality of their videos is, is intense. Sixteen years old when I went to the war To fight for a land fit for heroes God on my side and a gun in my hand Chasing my days down to zero And I marched and I fought and I bled and I died And I never did get any older But I knew at the time That a year in the line Was a long enough life for a soldier Yeah. 
there's a reason I let those credits play. They deserve it, number one. <sighs> number two, it gives me some time. Didn't think that was going to trigger me as hard as it did. Let's try to talk about it musically before I get um, too involved with the deeper stuff. Sabaton's 1916 from Motorhead, written by Lemmy, of course, recorded by Motorhead, uh, about the Battle of the Somme, from their upcoming EP, Stories from the Western Front. The way, you know, when you listen to, to the original version and you listen to Joaquin's, trans, not translation, that's not what I mean, transfer, he adds a, a depth to it. I call him the Swedish Chuck Liddell, right? That's what he looked the first time I saw him. That's the first thing I thought, Swedish Chuck Liddell. But his voice, I've said it before and I'll say it again, no one can do what they do. No one can do what they do. That's a that's a power ballad. That's a power ballad is what that is for war. And the the gravitas that is lent to the subject matter that he's able to produce is incredibly specific to the level of respect and deference that they're showing that subject matter. This isn't kitsch. This isn't camp. This is an emotional involvement from everyone involved. And it comes through in the tones, like from the guitar solo to his vocals to the rest of the band really laying underneath there. Just just really laying underneath. You're so involved in the story being told. And it's being done in such a brilliantly matter-of-fact and impactfully beautiful vocals. The, the vocals... They're, you know, Joaquin's never going to be called a songbird. He's more like a song howitzer. It's beautiful. It's, it's, and it is that. So I don't live on my veteran status. I've never lived off of my time in service. It's just something that I was taught as a kid. You know, I was raised in a military family. All of my siblings are military except one. A lot of relatives military. So I grew up with, okay, you serve, so what? Just go do your job. You know, seeing someone say, I'm a veteran, give me a discount is like, oh, or people using it as a, as a, 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 a talking point, an opinion point. As a veteran, here's what I think. Um, I'm trying not to get off track. Uh, I'm really trying not to get off track here. But I will say this as a veteran. I've seen a 155 millimeter howitzer go off. Like, seen it. I've seen an Apache attack helicopter engage and dump ordnance. All right. I've seen the magnificence of our military in action. And it's beautiful. It is. It's, it's, hard to describe and people that's one of the things that veterans have a hard time with is is getting people to understand the beauty in that moment right the beauty in the violence the beauty in the war that there are moments of it and you have to be willing to see it but anyway again i don't want to because there are some lines in here that uh i forgot were there and Again, I didn't think it would trigger me as hard as it did, but it did. Back to the song and the, and the video especially. Dude, I don't think Steven Seagal has made a movie in the past 20 years as good as that video. As well produced as that video. As well put together, well acted 
as that video. That was brilliant. And the fact that the soldiers you used are real life soldiers from Leonidas to Sergeant York. I like how you did that. That that's good. I actually know a guy who is Sergeant York's great nephew, great great nephew, somewhere like his grandmother is the sister of Sergeant York. So, but anyway, um, very well done. And again, when you're talking about this subject matter, the the band is so good. And I apologize for having diverted there. The band is so good at understanding those impactfully violent colors and how they blend within a metal track. And a lot of times people get put off by metal because they think it's just noise. And when you start to look at really, really good metal like Sabaton, and you start to understand not just they're good at what they do, but they're proficient. And that's, that's, that's important. They're proficient in their layering and their sculpting and their structure. So they're very good about what goes up front, what leads, what drives. And everything else just kind of simmers below. And then when it's done, it's almost like that creeper where you realize as the song is going on, okay, these are these other elements that are making this song bigger. It's filling out the rest of the, of the color. So while the guitar and the vocals are creating this one color, meanwhile, you've got this marching heartbeat, this cadence underneath, and you are so attached to it and you're so in tune with it that you almost, you don't hear it as much as you feel it. So that the guitar and the vocals are able to take this prominence in that color spectrum. So that when it finally does come through your little triangle there, to create the full picture in your head, whatever it is you're seeing when you listen to that, whatever it is you're seeing when you listen to that, everything blends properly. Nothing is out of place. So even in my memories and even in my journeys, um, nothing is out of place. So there's that nice white light that goes around the entirety of the image that's being created in my head. And that's what you want in a great metal tune. Again, that's a power ballad. Amazingly enough, that is a power ballad. And I'm looking forward to, to more from that EP coming out, Stories from the Western Front. Again, if I were a lazy history teacher, if I were a lazy history teacher, I would be jamming Sabaton every Friday. I don't even think it's a lazy. I think if, if I were if, if you're a good history teacher, honestly, yeah, honestly, if you're a good history teacher and you do want to teach the importance of certain military historical elements, Sabaton's the way to go. Their production value is just absolutely incredible. The way that they match that theatric of the image that they're creating, they also bring the music as well, so they fold seamlessly into this one spectrum. So you're not watching something and then distracted by the music. It's not the music that's better than, the, you know, there's no conflict here with the entirety of the package. And I think that's what makes this band so good. Like I said, masters of their niche. And I didn't think it was going to hit me, but I had to let those credits roll because, A, they deserve that. They deserve to have their names be seen. That was an incredible, incredible short film is what that was. And give me time to collect myself. And, and there's just certain things, you know, when people say thank you for your service, there's, there's a lot of reasons why it makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel awkward, not unappreciative, not not like in a don't do it. it's, it's not what I'm saying I'm just saying that we're, we're taught that we're nothing without these men around us that we go through all of this stuff with we don't exist without them I wouldn't be sitting here without them I wouldn't be making these videos without men who will not men without boys who will always be 22 I have these in my life you know, I have these 
You know, I owe somebody. You know, that's hard to carry. I, I'm not, and again, that's not, I didn't want to get off on these, these tangents. Now, the one thing that kept hitting me over and over and over again when I, when the song's over and, you know, no one ever protests a politician coming home. Why are you yelling at me? You know, we, we are the talisman of these bad decisions and it's that line, it's not my fault, I'm not to blame, I wasn't to blame. It's that if there's any bitterness that I carry, it's that, you know, it's the masters of war, you know, these nabobs, you know, these old men sending us off, right? So it, 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 does, it does hit me in the feels. It does create a triggering effect in me, and I try to stay away from it because it's a great song, man. It really is, and it's a great tribute. Sabaton does such a, again, that's not a cover. It's a tribute. Don't confuse the two. And again, Joaquin adds this fullness to those lyrics that create this imagery that is just firing off some stuff. So I tried to stay away from that. So, But anyway, thank you very much for that suggestion. Again, Sabaton 1916. I hope that I stayed enough in the pocket of the song to give a good breakdown. That was a, like I said, I didn't think I'd get hit that hard, but it, it, it hit me pretty deep. And I'm sure I'll be thinking about it pretty much for the rest of the day. Sabaton 1916 stories from the Western Front. Looking forward to it coming out. I think it's coming out soon. Everything will be linked down below. And if you have all the info and the knowledge, fill me in down below. Again, if you have a suggestion for me, all my social media is there. You can leave it in the comment section or you can wait until we do our live streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays. You can get me your suggestions or we can direct you how to get me your suggestions from there as well. Thank you to Connect 200, Music to See, and of course, <coughs> Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. And thank all of you for taking time out of your busy day to give my little video a watch and a listen. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side. <laughs>